So the Browns in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Well, that was one of the few times they've been able to contain him thus far. He's over 100 yards for the game, but he lost a bit off his total on that carry. And again, it's Chubb. And a good job by the Raider defense yet again as they drop him for a second straight loss. A loss of one, now a loss of two, and they're staring at a third and 13. And now the question everyone's wondering, look at the clock, late fourth quarter, do they put the ball in the air here on third? I don't. I run the football, I tell my offensive line, no leakage up front. I want my running back hit as I hand the ball off to him. I don't want any type of an issue. But if I am going to throw, quick throw, to the perimeter, maybe one of my best receivers running a quick slant or something like that. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The kick by Parkey is good, and that will bump the lead up to 11. So barring something extraordinary here in the closing stages, that field goal should just about put this one on ice. Yeah, I mean, we've got to find two scores. So, you know, we're not going to exactly move it over there yet. It can be done, but boy, it's going to be a little bit of a stretch for them, isn't it? Yeah, they would have to move incredibly quick and have some luck, too. And they will wrangle it down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Raiders take over first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. So Carr and the Raiders now, down by 11, 47 seconds remaining. It's an extremely tall order in front of them, but they've got the ball with a first down. Throwing on first down is Carr. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Hunter Renfro is the man he was looking for, and that'll bring up second down. Coverage by Andrew Sendejo. Throwing again, Carr, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one, and a first down. First and 10 at the 42. Shotgun now for Carr. And this will be caught by Edwards. And he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35. When you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. On first down, Carr. And this is caught, touchdown. Wait, hold a second here, flag down. Let's see if this will stand. Yes, they want the points, so they will decline the penalty. No question there. You don't think they spent a couple seconds mulling over with the penalty? I don't would even do for know them? why they asked the sideline. Not at all. When you put the ball in the end zone on a takeaway, take the points and keep moving. So certainly some importance to this one now. After the touchdown, they could get this down to a field goal with a two-point conversion. Now Carr. And he's got it. So the try for two successful. And with it, they're back within a field goal. So a crucial two-point conversion there, but that's just part one of this two-part story that they need to happen here. Yeah, they do need to do a few other things, don't they? They got the two, as you noted. Now they've got to make sure they get the onside kick and hope to get into field goal range and maybe have one last miracle left. Yeah, I guess you're right. It's more than a two-part story. It's a three- or four-part story. And this one travels out of bounds. So unsuccessful there on the onside kick try. And that drives coaches insane, doesn't it? When they see that happen, it just, it just doesn't feel right, does it? Plus, you're giving up yardage. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And a six-yard gain gets them right around the 43. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. 
A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Four receivers now. Three to the right, one to the left. Second down and four. Now Mayfield going deep here for Landry. And Mayfield again with the interception, his third. It's Eric Harris who picks it, but he will nice not play, be nice, able nice, to bring nice. it back. My goodness, what a Good bizarre job. ending. The kind of decision that could get a quarterback released before he gets back to the locker room. But fortunately for him and his crew, the ball game is over. Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost fell schoolyard or playground, didn't it? Yeah, you remember when you called that play? Everybody just go long <laughs> and try and find someone open. They gave it a shot, but unable to successfully complete it. do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. With that, we say so long from Las Vegas.